What is up YouTube? I'm here with the all new 2023 Dodge Durango RT Plus behind me. Guys, this baby is powerful. I cannot wait for this one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel so we can provide more car content for you car lovers. And once again, quick shout out to Foundation Auto in North Vancouver. Guys, if you're in the market for new or used cars, make sure to give them a look. All right guys, without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, let's take a look at this beautiful clean white exterior, starting off with the hood, just so sporty especially with these black vents on it add some nice depth under this thing we got 3.7 hemi a v8 engine and guys 360 horsepower this is not your normal mom's suv this baby's got some power okay some more hood protection here just some good add-on if you guys want to protect against rocks and debris the blacked out dodge grill just looks so mean with this boy we got led lights that add to the sportiness of this front Below, we got some fog lights, also LED, and another Dodge grill that just looks perfect in my opinion in the front. Moving on to the tires, guys, we got Pirelli top of the line, black on black performance tires, look so clean. And my favorite part of this car, guys, the red brake pads, just add to that meanness of this Durango. Moving on to the side, we got a Hemi badge right here. We got your LED turn light, and we're gonna take a look at the trunk in the back area right now, guys. We got the classic Durango light bar in the back, just flows so nicely and it's so iconic, especially with that Dodge black on black logo, looks so clean. We got a Durango badge down here on the left and the RT on the right, let everyone know you can hit it in sport mode. We're gonna open the trunk here guys. Take a look at how much trunk space we got here guys. I'm a pretty big guy and there's tons of room back here. If you're gonna purchase a Durango, you're not just making a purchase for a car, you're purchasing a house. You could live back here with these Vancouver housing prices. Anyways, take a look, we got some more storage back here. And if you wanna pull out the seats, we're just gonna hop out for you guys. You're gonna pull one of these strings, nice and easy, no effort. And you wanna pull it back down, you're gonna pull this here, Boom, nice and easy as pie. You hit this button right here if you wanna close the trunk. Come on down here guys, take a look at this hidden tow hitch compartment. Nice and easy to take off. There it is, you got your tow hitch right there. You got some plugins right there if you want your brake lights to connect. To put it back in, you just make sure these guys line up nice and easy. Make sure you clip it and tighten up with these clips underneath. Once again, on the left, we got one exhaust, and on the right, guys, these exhausts are loud. You'll be hearing me a mile away when I step on the accelerator. I think that's enough for the exterior. Let's take a look at the interior. Finally, inside this beautiful interior, guys, the first thing you're gonna notice is this beautiful Durango red stitching that's gonna be available on every one of these six seats. That's right, it's a six-seater in here. I got tons of room back here in the back two seats. We got airflow right above me, which I think is a huge plus because you know when you have airflow up here, hits you directly on the face, more comfortable as opposed to down below, which is harder to reach. Guys, if I was seven years old again and my mom was driving me to soccer practice, I'd be a happy camper back here. Tons of room. Let's take a look up here to the middle seats. As you can see, you take that easy, nice Dodge walkway up here. You can pull these seats in the middle row, nice and easy. Look at that, and even the headrest pops up and down for the user's liking. We got the Dodge Durango racing stripes in the middle, in my opinion, very clean. Two seats in the middle here, even more leg room than in the back. You got some pocket storage here on your left and the right. Your airflow and control in the middle for both sides. You can do your feet for both and the head. Two USB ports and heated seats even for the back middle seats, which is a huge bonus. And finally, you got your little two cup holders here down in the middle. We are in the front seat, the cockpit of this Dodge Durango. I feel mean, I feel sporty already with these seats. They're comfortable, a little bit of performance to them. I feel like I could do some drag racing. We'll talk about that later. But starting off with the seat, we got the Durango classic race stripes, the red stitching that goes all the way up into this dashboard. And if you notice, there's kind of like this marbly camo black pattern there that goes throughout the dashboard i don't really know what that's called if you guys have any idea make sure to comment down below help us out with that we got this beautiful dashboard here has supports our apple carplay and uplay take a look we got the media there the comfort all your airflow all your heat your vents can be controlled by here your navigation you know i'm more of an apple carplay looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion so we'll check the navigation out on there you got your maps, your music, 
anything for Apple CarPlay. Now this is where the fun begins, guys. You're gonna click the vehicle tab, launch performance pages. Look at this stuff. If you wanna be a new extra in the new Fast and Furious 26 movies, this is where you grind, this is where you practice, okay? You get your reaction time, you check your drag racing, your recent, your last, your best. You can check your gauges, your oil temp. You can even check your power, torque, and RPM. Look at that on the graph. It's moving, it's updating by the second. You want your G-force right off the line, off a red light? You got it right there. Your vehicle dynamics, you can check your axles, your steering angle, everything you need to know about your performance and the mechanics of this car, you can reach in the vehicle tab, guys. This dashboard is completely customizable, guys. Take a look. You got all your main settings right here when you pull down. This is what it's gonna look like. Your rear camera, let's take a look. You got it right there. Your driver profile, I think this is a really cool setting, guys. You can set it up to each customizable driver if you have multiple drivers for this car take a look you can edit it edit your avatar memory seat have st settings just for that pull it down again you can check your notifications tab no Not notifications right now I'm not a popular guy that's okay pull it down again you got your assistant voice Wi-Fi hotspot guys you can purchase Wi-Fi for this car enable a hotspot for your laptop your computer if you need to do work in the car this car's even got Alexa and a device manager. The device manager basically just controls what phone is on and what settings are adaptable to that phone. All right guys, let's take a look down here. You got your wireless charging station along with USB and USB-C ports for both the passenger and the driver. Two cup holders and your gear shifter right here. They went with the classic Durango gear shifter. Gear shifter. Very comfortable in my hand. Very fluid. I really like the leather on the bottom there. Open up, we got some extra compartment space keep my wallet and keys there for now and you got a secret one if you pull this tab right here take a look up here we got two lights for the passenger and the driver you got your control garage buttons right here we do have a sunroof in the middle you got your three options your auto up auto down and your vent option in the middle more light controls and your trunk button right in the middle to control the trunk sunglass storage oh my god guys we got some sunglasses here thank you dodge durango for setting us these custom Durango sunglasses, I'll be sure to take them out on the road with me. I think we've done more than enough talking. I cannot wait to take this baby and really step on the accelerator, show you guys what kind of power is under this hood. All right, guys, we are finally on the road here, just pulling up to this intersection here. Uh, once again, we got a beautiful 10 inch display here on the right. I think that's a perfect amount of display options here. Tons of room for your maps, your music, whatever you want down below we're gonna you know what let's test out the sport mode right here as you can see it turns the eco off as soon as you press sport mode you also got your track mode we'll see if we get to that today but we'll definitely check out the sport mode and we'll hit on this accelerator for a bit once we once the green light comes we'll be maybe we'll beat a few cars off the line on the left here but you're gonna see in the middle we're on the speedometer you can see the kilometers come up you're gonna see the rpm on the left you got this uh, steering wheel here. It's Napa leather. It's premium leather. Feels really nice in the hands. Really good control for this powerful SUV. You guys are going to see all of the 360 horsepower come alive here, guys. I'm excited for this. This is definitely one of the most powerful SUVs I've ever driven for sure. Uh, not really sure if there's any SUVs on the market right now that really compete with that 360 horsepower, especially with this Durango, how big it is. Uh, six seater for example but all right guys i'm really excited for this we're gonna see here in this green light in the next few seconds and uh, i'll let you guys know how it feels all right here we go here oh my you guys can feel that kick right off the line right there wow we didn't even get up to 60k we we're just under 60k but that was incredible. Absolutely left all those other cars in the dust. Under the speed limit, of course. But wow, that sport mode was incredible, guys. Even in normal, with none of the modes on, any of the performance enhancing, enhancing modes on, there's still a ton of kick to it. This SUV is just incredible. I'm, I'm sure you guys could feel that G-force through the screen right there. More than 300 horsepower. Pulling up here to the light, once again, you can see the speedometer going. Completely customizable, you can change those settings. 
up and down here you can check some vehicle information such as the oil temperature this is my favorite part the rt mode it's kind of like your sport mode you can kind of take a look through there customize it if you guys are in sport mode you can see look at that the reaction time right off the line it's going up there hopefully you guys get a good look at that uh, maybe we'll take take a look at the track mode once we get up to the next light see how that goes in comparison to the to the sport mode but once again i feel totally in control this is such a smooth ride for the amount of horsepower i don't feel like we're gonna put into track mode right now guys but i do not feel out of control at all of course you got those those bright red brake pads which i mentioned were one of my favorite looks on the exterior all right guys just playing around with the the dashboard here obviously you got the heated seats but you can also get the vented seats which kind of support some airflow cool it down you definitely feel that right away you can also control it on the buttons down below you got the heated seat of course because it's the napa premium leather which feels so nice in the hands right now i'm really digging the vent seats i think that's a cool cool setting to have on apple carplay obviously some more vehicle settings you can check the performance which i mentioned before so we'll launch some of those so this updates in real time right so you can see the g-force kind of going here if you step on the accelerator a little bit it shows you a cool little graph All in all guys, this has a lot of features, a lot of cool sport features for an SUV that I did not expect coming from this Dodge Durango. Put into track mode here, let's check this out. Wow. I think that was better than the sport mode coming off the line there, that was incredible. This thing is an absolute beast. It's got so much power under the hood. For a six seater, this gotta be the fastest six seater on the market. So yeah, anytime you click on any of these modes from sport to track, it's gonna turn the eco mode off for you automatically. It's gonna notify you that with the light on. Uh, the tow and snow, obviously not gonna be used today, but I'm really impressed with the sport mode. As you can see, we're still going like under 50K, around 30 to 40 kilometers, but you can still feel that power every time I step on the accelerator. We're coming to the conclusion here with this driving video. Hopefully, if you're in the market for a 2023 Dodge Durango, we helped you out and gave you an inside of what it's like to own one of these things. Make sure if you're still watching to like, comment, and subscribe down below so we can keep bringing these videos to you guys. And make sure to comment what your favorite feature about this car was. Mine was definitely the acceleration and the horsepower in this thing. But thank you once again for sticking around. Hopefully we see you next time.